So, you're a first time vapor and you feel you've got everything you need, except you have one looming question. What water should you vape at? Today, we will go over just that. All right, let's get to it. So, to answer your question about what water you should vape at, well, the answer is kind of subjective. Not only that, but there are several variables that you should consider before you land on the wattage of your cloudy dreams. Let's go over a couple. Wattage is relative to the coil's resistance. What does this mean? It means depending on the resistance measured in ohms for a particular coil, the coil will perform differently at the same wattage. For example, let's take two coils at different resistances, one at 0.15 ohm and another at 0.5 ohm. The coil at 0.15 ohm would perform better at say 100 watts than the coil at 0.5 ohm. Or let's go for a lower wattage at say about 60 watts. For a coil at 0.5 ohm, that would be a relatively high wattage, but for a coil at 0.15 ohm, that would be rather low. This all means that your coil's resistance plays a factor in the range you choose. Another is suggested wattage. Now, this is pretty simple. Most prefabricated coils have the wattage you should vape at printed on the side of the coil. Alongside that, they will have a suggested range within that wattage so you can get the best performance out of your coil. Mind you, these are only suggestions, but we'd advise adhering to these suggestions so you can get the best flavor out of your coils and they don't burn out too early. Because seriously, have you ever experienced a burnt out coil? It's a big old bag of no bueno. Now, what are the pros and cons of lower and higher wattage? Well, some of the pros of higher wattage is bigger clouds, of course, better flavor, and a faster ramp up time. But this is at the cost of battery life and the potential of dry hits. Lower wattages give you a longer battery and coil life, but the trade-off is muted flavor and, of course, less dense clouds. We also suggest learning about Ohm's Law so you are armed with the knowledge of how resistance works and how it's calculated. We hope this helped you on your journey to find your perfect wattage